going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have a match, uh, this is an underused match against Eddie, and the reason why I haven't been uploading lately is because I've been sick and my voice has been sounding like shit, but I'm feeling a little better now, so let's go ahead and get this started. I built myself a pretty sexy looking underused team and uh, gonna have some fun with some Mega Sceptile, so let's see how this works out. Alright, so looking at my team, it seems fairly obvious that I'd be leading off with Dawn Fan, so I generally tend to lead off with Darmanitan just to kind of throw people off. But uh, he decides to lead off with the Jolteon, and here he goes for the Volt Switch. He actually outspeeds me here, which basically kind of tells me what kind of item he's running. He's obviously holding the Choice Scarf, considering my Choice Scarf Darmanitan went second, so that's actually not too bad. Um, the Volt Switch did do a lot of damage to Shofu, but I'm able to get a, a U-turn off on whatever he wants to send in. Turns out this Crobat comes in here, and I'm like, yo, Alakazam, it is time to show off your spoons. He's like, yo, check out these spoons. They're pretty freaking sweet, and this uh, Flappy Bat is going to get destroyed by an Alakazam here in a second. He goes for an Air Slash, as that's not going to do, it's not even going to do half to me, as I go for a Psychic, and that is easily going to kill the Crobat in one hit. I'm not sure why he would have stayed in. Maybe he didn't have a switch. I don't, I'm not I'm not sure. I don't know. He could have got the flinch on the Air Slash, and then maybe been a, I, I don't know. But anyways, now he's going to bring out the uh, the Ninjas, the Robo Bug, and I'm like, honestly, I have not seen a lot of these things around. So I decide to bring out Rolly, and Rolly Polioli is going to go ahead and <laughs> make his debut here as he takes a U-turn to the freaking trunk, and that does a dick load of damage. Look at that. Oh my god. So I'm like, I don't know what kind of item that thing's running, but I'm honestly pretty safe to say it might be Choice or choice Banded considering that did a, a, a bunch of damage. So he now brings out the uh, the Gorgeist, who is going to uh, kind of be a threat to Rolly, but then I was like, you know what, honestly, let's go ahead and throw a knockoff at this thing and get rid of its leftovers so I don't have to worry about recovery, and then this wall is going to be a lot easier to take care of. So he goes for the lead seed on the first turn, and that is actually perfect considering I'm just going to go ahead and switch the hell up on out of here now, as he's probably going to want a Will-O-Wisp or something like that, and Don Fan could not really, you know, not, Don Fan does not really enjoy being burned. I mean, I guess not that anything really enjoys being burned, but Don Fan, you know, could not really dig that. So, I go ahead and switch. I decide to switch into Christmas. If he wants to go ahead and hit me with, like, a Seed Bomb or whatever, Will-O-Wisp, honestly, Subtile does not give a shit about, you know, being burned. So, at this point, Christmas is like, yo, it's Christmas time, bitch, and I go ahead and Mega Evolve, turn the tail into a nice Christmas tree, and here I actually make a pretty stupid play. I honestly thought that Sceptile would be faster than this freaking Ninjask. I, 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 damn, I don't know, I'm not aware of how fast Ninjasks are. I was going to be able to hit that thing with a Hidden Power Fire, but unfortunately Sceptile is not going to take that U-turn, and the Choice Banded U-turn is going to kill my Christmas. So I was like, wow, I, yeah, you fucking Grinch out here, going to come out here and just kill Christmas like that. I see how it is. I see how it is. In my head, at least I thought I would be able to at least live a U-turn also. I, I don't know. I, honestly, at this point in the battle, I, I guess I wasn't too aware that that thing was choice cho or choice banded. So honestly, I thought worst case scenario, I'd be able to at least live a bug attack from that thing. But Sceptile was not happening. So now I have Muck out here. I'm going to start setting up some curses. And then I realize he switches in this Gorgeist. And I'm like, you know what? I do not really want Muck to get burned this early. Honestly, looking at his team, Muck is a pretty key player in this match, so I was like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and switch the hell up on out of here. I would not enjoy Muck being burned, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and switch into Darmanitan, predicting the Will-O-Wisp, as he actually just switches back into the Ninjask, and I'm, at least now I'm freaking aware that these things are like heavy. I think it's like base 160 speed. I looked it up after that thing outsped my Sceptile. I don't know if why I expected Mega Sceptile to get so much more speed, but I don't know. But anyway, Shofu's going to go ahead and predict a switch. I could have gone for the Flare Blitz. I actually end up going for the Rock Slide, as it's pretty nice. He brings in a, uh, a Pidgeot, who's going to take a buttload of damage from that, and now he's going to Mega Evolve, and uh, unfortunately for him, Scarf Darmanitan Manitan is going to be able to outspeed and one more rock slide to the uh, the fat face and pot belly the uh, Mega Pidgeot is dead so at least that's pretty nice got rid of his mega he got rid of my mega we mega list out here pretty even all right so now he's going to switch into spark plug as uh, he makes a very nice play here he could have gone for the volt switch I predicted the volt switch he actually goes for the hidden power grass catches my dawn fan off guard and Roly Polioli is going to go ahead and die off the critical hit I don't think the crit mattered Definitely probably didn't matter, but yeah. So anyways, now I know this thing's freaking scarfed into um, <laughs> into Hidden Power Grass, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to bring Muck's slimy ass back on out here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit whatever wants to come in with a hard-hitting poison jab and perhaps get the poison. So the ninjas comes in, I do get the poison touch, and I'm like, that is right, you piece of shit bug. That is what you get for doing so much damage on your U-turns. So um, honestly, every other time I've brought Mega Sceptile into a UU match, he puts in work, except for this one. But honestly, so now I go ahead and go for the Shadow Snake, seeing that the poison puts him at a pretty, you know, low health. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get that priority, kill the freaking bug, and Muck is looking pretty awesome out here. I'm back at, like, full health, 
And luckily I killed a Ninjask because he probably would have been able to do decent damage with a, uh, a banded flying type move like Aerial Ace. I don't know what those things run, honestly. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and conserve Muck for later. I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and send in Shofu on this Gore Guy's Predict at Will-O-Wisp. It does not affect Shofu. And uh, now he's going to go ahead and go for the Protect. I guess just to see what I'm going to lock myself into, he sees that I go ahead and lock myself into the Flare Blitz, and uh, he has no other choice but to go ahead and try to hit me with a Shadow Sneak, which is not going to kill me, but unfortunately, the Flare Blitz is going to, in the process, kill him, but it's also going to kill my uh, my Shofu, so that's kind of a bummer, although, you know, I guess Darmana 10 wasn't really needed at this point, kind of just used him to get rid of that freaking pumpkin, so that's cool. We got ourselves an empty-ass battlefield, and I'm like, you know what, just going to send Muck's ass right back on out here, because he seems to have quite the problem with this, uh, with this muck. So, he sends out a spark plug, he's gonna go ahead and choice scarf himself into the T-Bolt, which is gonna do absolutely no damage, look at that. Muck is just absorbing that shit. I, honestly, start bringing muck into UU ban matches, he, he fucking, he carries his weight, for sure. But, uh, yeah, so I hit that thing with a poison touch, does not kill it, but now he decides to switch into Sharkisha the Hitmonchan, who he, after the match, told me that is a, um, it's like a rapid spin, kind of a salt vested type of Hitmonchan, but, yeah, so he gets hit with a poison jab, takes that poison and I'm like Muck is just dishing out the poison tonight like honestly things are not getting by without getting poisoned today so I realized you know I could I could have actually just stayed in here and gone and killed him with Muck but then I was like you know I'm just gonna go ahead and play it safe I'm gonna send in Cat. Cat is my new beautiful Melotic who's gonna take a drain punch does absolutely no damage and uh, I can go ahead and kind of whittle this thing away with some scalds and stuff like that. So Sharkisha over there jumping around, ready to punch some shit. But honestly, at this point, my Melotic can go ahead and recover off all the damage. And I can just basically hit, hit it with scalds, wait for that poison damage to do stuff, and then just kind of, yeah. He gets a little bit of health back from Drain Punch to the point where it's almost, you know, it's almost like we're making no damn progress. At this point in the match, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I'm actually just going to go ahead and speed this part up here. So, as you can see, Hitmonchan's just gonna keep on hitting me with some drain punches and stuff like that. I'm just gonna keep on throwing hot water at him. It's actually doing, like, no damage, and it kind of makes sense considering it's an assault vested Hitmonchan. And these things, Hitmonchan's all, already have pretty decent special defense, honestly. Um, assault Vest paired with the Drain Punch is actually a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent Hitmonchan set. So, I go for the recover there just to show him, like, hey, I can get all my health back, and you are getting nowhere with your Hitmonchan, brother. But, uh, yeah, so, at this point, it's looking like maybe two more Scalds is gonna do the trick. That one knocks him down to the point where Poison would kill it, but, of course, the freaking Drain Punch is gonna give him some more health. And I'm like, oh my god, this is damn ridiculous, and, oh, oh, at this point, one more Scald is gonna do the job. As he realizes that, he's gonna hit me with a Mach Punch and uh, Sharkisha is going to go down. So freaking finally, the Hitmonchan dies, and uh, at this point, all he has left is his um, Jolteon, who's gonna come out here, Spark Plug, gonna hit me with a Thunderbolt. I didn't really wanna switch into Muck, considering maybe he could get like two crits in a row and be able to win the match. So I was like, you know what, just go ahead and kill the Melotic. I'm fine with that. And now it is time for the Demolisher to come back in, who's still, he's still rocking that full health. Honestly, Muck in this match did not give two shits. I take that Thunderbolt like a beast, and I'm able to go ahead and hit this thing with a Poison Jab to the face, and the Spark Plug is dead. So, that was the end of the match, guys. Thank you for watching. It would mean a lot if you would click that thumbs up button. It really helps support my channel. I will have some more Wi-Fi battles up soon, considering I can actually freaking record videos now, because my freaking voice doesn't sound like, sound like shit. So, I have a whole bunch of matches kind of stored up, so be, uh, be ready for that. See you guys later.